Hey, I hit it really good on the range, but it's not so good on the golf course. We hear that all the time. So I got two alternative ways to practice. Now look, no magic here. You gotta do this more than once. But here they are. The first one is I'm gonna count out three balls and I've got three clubs. I got a trot, I got a sand wedge, a seven iron, and a driver here. And I'm gonna hit one ball with each club and I'm gonna grade it. And it doesn't have to be an A plus, but it ought to be above a B plus or better. Now that would mean I hit it relatively solid, pretty straight and good trajectory with it. Okay, so here I go. The first one's gonna be my wedge. Okay, that was a V minus, it wasn't very good. Okay, here's my seven iron. Oh baby, that was an A plus. I won't hit one of those. And here goes my driver. So I got a B, an A plus, and let's see what I do here. Okay, I hit it really good. But I didn't pass the test because the first one wasn't very good. Ball number two and three were good, so I gotta redo that sequence right there. I hit a wedge, a seven iron, and a driver. I hit two out of three of them in the A family. One of them wasn't, so I have to do it again. Got it? That's technique one. Here's number two. So you're gonna be creative on this and you're gonna play holes in your mind. And I'm sure you guys, some of you have heard of this. And so let's just say the first hole is a long, Four par. So I'm going to start off with a driver. I'm going to hit my driver. Okay. I kind of hooked that ball. I hooked it too much, so I'm in the left rough. So I'm going to take the club that I would hit on this hole. Let's just say it's a seven iron, and I got to hit a low punch hook. So here we go. I'm going to hit a low punch hook with this seven iron. the left trees, I don't hit it in the trees very often, but I did this time, so it's going to be a low punch hook. Oh man, that was really good. You think I hit it in the trees all the time, it's because they hit that one. It's right out of the green. I didn't quite get it to the green because I had to go under that tree, that imaginary tree, so I'm going to hit it just a little pitch shot. And even though I'm not on the green, I've got a spot out here, I'm trying to land it on a leaf right out there. And I did. So that would be a good way to practice. Now look, no magic here. You got, you're going to have to put this into play on the on the range roll. And I'm going to tell you, your range practice is going to deteriorate. You're not going to hit them so good anymore. But when you get on the golf course, it's going to pay off. Okay? Come see us at Ball Golf. We'd love to help you with your Christmas needs and stuff. And uh, we're going to get warmer weather, so hang in there. Good luck to you.